Hey everybody, it's John with hookahjohn.com. Another beautiful day here in the world of Hookah John. Check this out. What do we think we're going to introduce today? If you guys are familiar with DSH hookah, that's Dream Smoke hookahs, and they're made out of, they come out of Russia. They decided to make a mini version. It's called the DSH Sky. It comes in this box, and I'm gonna show it to you. Uh, right now, I don't have anyone filming me. We're really busy here, so I'm doing this selfie mode, so I'm gonna be going back and forth here and showing you what we've got in this little hookah. It's a great travel hookah. Check it out, here we go. One more puff for the road, okay. So I will put up another DSH here. This is the Mini, and I wanna put it in comparison in height. Uh, this DSH Sky hookah here is about 14 inches to there. You'll see the size and base differences. DSH traditionally does not come with bases, so on this Mini right here, that's a decanter base, that's a decanter two model. That's a decanter one on the oxide Libano hookah. So it just gives you a little bit of perspective on height differences. I forget what the height is on these, but I, I would say they're over 20 inches. Now, check this out. I wanna get this up close. <laughs> it looks warped from the way the angle is here. It's not. All right, so right now we've got three titanium flats on a hookah john, 80 feet bowl, Tangiers. So you got a smaller tray than normal. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit smaller. I forget the diameter. I didn't even measure it, but I'd say it's just about six inches. And then here's the stainless steel work out of Russia. I didn't even check the purge yet. I just started smoking this. One little flaw that I see, it does come with its own hose. Usually we provide the hoses with DSH, so I get good quality ones. These ones are decent quality, they feel good but they might have that little kink that some, I don't know, Russian brand hookahs have, and they put a little coil here, but I don't think they included a coil. So you get a smaller base here compared to that. So let's look at the hub and show it to you, but you know what, I'm gonna pause again and show you some differences, or show it to you from the inside anyways. So check this out, but this thing gets great smoke. Excellent, right? Right. All right, so I showed you in the beginning. This is the box it comes in, but let's see what this box is all about. Open it here. I don't have the pricing yet, but I'd say that it's gonna be 200, 200 bucks, maybe a little bit less. Those of you guys that know, know you can use discount codes here and there, free shipping, blah, blah, blah. All right, so that's a full MSRP. So it comes with the base, which you've seen already. It comes with this, just a quick reminder, this is plastic wrap here. Some people don't know that and I've seen them put coals on this and it melts. It's disgusting. Make sure to peel this off both sides. All right. So that you have a stainless steel, uh, stainless steel tray. Now, what do we have here inside the box? So we can show you some of these things. Okay. Let's hit the stand. Here is your box. And you know what? I'm going to go to another angle just so we can show it in better detail. Okay. Look at me. What a pro. I got this set up, right? Doing this all by myself. So here you go, let's check out the hub first. It's a nice solid piece of stainless steel, not too high here. Did you pull any of the clear ones? Uh, no, I did not the pull any clear. Uh, yes, one. Where is it? It's, uh, it's back it there, it's on back top, back yeah. Uh, we're missing. Okay. So you've got your threading in here. Here's your purge, I still didn't purge this thing. So it looks like your ball bearing is in here. Check that out. Still haven't purged it yet myself. All right, so it sticks in with some O-rings in there, as does your hose handle or your hose port and hose adapter. Comes with the grommet down here. And here's your stem, nice and simple. Someone made a comment somewhere when I showed a picture said, yeah, I bet it's crap quality stainless steel. I don't know what he's noticing. I said, I don't know, I haven't seen him. I've only seen him in pictures. Now in real life, yeah, it's a small lighter hookah, but it's there's no crap in here at all. Okay, you got a smaller hose handle here. I don't know if I measured this. I would say it's a good eight inches. Um, and then here's your down stem. All right, quality stuff here for the price. It's got, doesn't have a removable diffuser. It's drilled 
in. All right, here we go. Let's check it out in all its glory and detail. Smoke output is great. It doesn't look like it there because it's blue from behind. Let's check out this perch. I don't seem to have cleared out the base. There's some condensation, so it looks a little uh, foggy in there right now. But it seems like a pretty good perch. Excellent output, excellent travel hookah. So like I said, you could probably, you can put it in this little box and you have pretty much everything in there. This box is here. I mean, this is your box that you'll be putting it in, which looks like a good, I don't know, eight by eight inches, maybe, maybe less. And it's pretty thin. So you can put this in a carry-on bag uh, the base, I would always put a base in a carry-on bag. How about in addition to those clouds, this live editing skill, all right? You guys know me, I don't do much with my videos. I just, one and done, take it and go. So no one's even here to shoot it, so I'm doing it myself here. So check out. Your DSH Sky Hookah. Whoa, that was a cool effect. I didn't even mean to do that. So yeah, uh, it's at the sake for the sake of uh, carrying on and rambling and all this, you guys know Hookah Expo Worldwide, October, Las Vegas. Go to the website, hookahexpoworldwide.com. Your tickets should be on early bird special till sometime this month. So it's only like a couple weeks, like mid June, then it expires and goes to full price. But that's it. That's it. I I like this hookah. I mean. Would I use it every day at my desk? No, I like the medium ones. I actually use the mini at my desk pretty much every day. And I use a DSH Heavy at home. And that's in addition to the many other hookahs that I have. Um, I showed this Oxide hookah, which is pretty great. Um, that just came out last week. This is Canadian made. So now you have Canadian, Russian, and you have uh, Saoka hookah. There's so many to choose from now. So we try to bring you the best of the best here at Hookah John. I don't carry every brand. I don't care to. You should definitely get this one. All right, I, I definitely would put this now. When people say, hey, what's your favorite hookah? I don't know, Saoka, uh, my Regal, my Meg, my DSHs. Um, I've got other ones too. Um, I can't even think of them right now, but those are up there for me. Those are what I use regularly. This one, pretty good. And now I know what I'm gonna use when I travel because I always try to take one with me and I'm always like, eh, I hate the travel hookahs, but you know, space and weight and all that. Pretty cool. And speaking of Russian, sorry, speaking of Russian hookahs, a lot of times I upsell you, I say to get a decanter base. They're just so much better. And they are than traditional Russian bases that come with a lot of these hookahs. But you know, price is an issue for many of us. So I did get some Russian bases in different colors that you guys might like. They'll be cheaper, like to put it in perspective, I don't know, they'll be in the $25 range. They have the same shape as this decanter right here, but they're not the decanter, they're not as heavy. They're not as good quality glass, but they do the trick. So 25 versus a $65 decanter, it's up to you. All right, thanks for watching, talk to you soon.